oh my goodness, the craziest thing just happened. No lie, I walk out here on my deck and I'm rolling the Traeger out here to get it ready because it's early in the morning. And I have a fenced in yard because of my puppy, or my puppy, <laughs> my dog. Anyway, a wild turkey jumps up in the air and flies off. It sees me and it fly. I didn't know turkeys could fly. Nobody told me turkeys flew. It flew up into the trees, like way up there. It's crazy. So much going on behind me. There's birds just chirping all morning. Uh, it's exciting. Also, what's exciting is that audible.com is my sponsor today. That's right. It's a big video for us starting the smoking series. Audible wanted to be a part of it. And if you don't know what Audible is, it's an audiobook service, the biggest on the internet, 150,000 titles to choose from. And I'm reading currently, or I'm having it read to me, uh, the book is From Scratch, Inside the Food Network. How exciting is that, huh? I hope to uh, learn how Food Network got started and what goes on behind the scenes. It's going to be really exciting. You guys want to read it with me or you want to pick out another book? Have one on me. That's right. You get a free audio book on me. Click the link down below or, or just type in the link on the screen. Try out the audio book, audible.com. Thanks for being a part of this great series. All right, let's get the smoking series started. Uh, we're going to go inside in the kitchen and start prepping the meat. So meet me in there, okay? Let's do it. So here's what I want to do. We're just talking pork shoulder butt right now, okay? Right now, I want to know how you guys do it. Do you inject it? What kind of seasoning rub do you use? Tell me everything. How long do you cook it? How long do you let it set after it's done cooking? Do you throw it in the oven? Do you wrap it in foil? Do you spray it with apple juice? I want to know everything about just right now pork shoulder butt. And then later on when I do ribs and fish and other things, we can take your comments on that. So down below, tell me how you uh, smoke your pork shoulder butt or Boston butt or whatever it is, all right? My rub is called the best gourmet seasoning over taste. I'm gonna use my rub in this video, okay? Just to make it simple so we can get on the Traeger and get it going. And we're gonna see how it works. The next video, wait till you see this. The next video, we're, I'm just gonna randomly grab stuff out of the cupboard and make my own rub right on the spot. I have no idea what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna grab things that sound good, put them together, and I'm gonna do ribs with that. So be watching for that next smoking series. It's called Random Rub Ribs. It's gonna be awesome, so be ready for that. Now, I just want to show you this real quick. Tom and Heather bought me this pasta bowl when they found out mine broke, and they mailed it to me, and it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? It's huge. So I'm gonna do my seasoning in this bowl here. Do, 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 do. And the reason why they call it a rub, and I go heavy, so if you don't go heavy, sorry. And I go heavy and you rub it in. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for a bunch of hours and then pull it out and then we're gonna take it out to the Traeger and I'm gonna show you how to start up your Traeger for the first time. I got one of these uh, Home Depot buckets. In this one, I wrote apple because I'm using my apple pellets. I have a bucket for every flavor now. So I'm going to do my preliminary checks on this. Uh, one of the things you gotta do first off is plug it in. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Okay, now it's in the on position. Okay, next thing you wanna do, see, is, is the auger spinning? You see it moving slowly? It's slowly moving. That's what feeds your pellets into the burner. Now the next thing you wanna see is, is it blowing air? And you could feel, yes it is. And is that thing getting hot? You can see, it's smoking just on its own, just from being a new machine. You could smell it. Go ahead and put this protector back on. Get your grease pan or drip pan back in there. Get your grill back in. Now I've already sprayed the grill. Okay, so now I'm only gonna fill this about halfway and then later on I'll tell you how to get your pellets out. But right now, let's get the pellets in, run it for 45 minutes, see if it starts smoking. We want to close this. We're going to season it. You only do it the first time you buy a smoker. You want to season the smoker. 45 minutes. Let's set it to high. So leave this on for 45 minutes and uh, get that smoker seasoned and I will be back. So now it's been seasoned for 45 minutes. I'm going to drop this down to 225. It's about 400 degrees right now. So what's going to happen is when I open this up to put the meat in, which I'm gonna get right now, 
this is going to drop temperature anyway, so it's going to help it get to 225. It's about an eight, eight pound pork butt. You're going to flip it with the fat side up. Put it right there. Get my meat thermometer. You're going to stick it in to the meaty side. Make sure you don't hit a bone. If you hit a bone, you're going to get a false reading. So what I do is I go in and I pull back. I go in real deep and I pull back just about half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. Then you can set that right over here. All right, so I'm going to take this into the house. In fact, I'm going to go get ready for church. I'm just going to set this and let it go. Eight pounds, what do they say, like an hour a pound or something like that? So you're looking at probably eight hours. But all I care about is an internal temperature of 195, and then we're good. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm going to lift this up. We're going to take a look at it together. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but here we go. Oh, yeah, you can see that, right? Can you see that? Is that beautiful or what? There it is. And uh, I want to get in even closer. So you got the first shot. It looks gorgeous. Got an outside crust. Oh, man, look at that. It's a work of art. Very little's dripped out of this. That is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to let that rest for a minute. I'm going to grab it right now with my gloves, and I'm going to put it in a bowl. I love these gloves, especially when you put them on wrong. It's so much fun. I want to thank my buddy Johnny for telling me to get gloves like these because it really helps because now I can just do this, pull that out, set that over here. And then I'm going to take this bad boy and pick it up quickly and place it on the plate. Oh! Lost a little piece of meat. That's okay. A little piece of meat fell off right there as I was transferring it. So we learn as we go. So here's the deal. I'm going to let this cool and I'm going to give this a cupcake. She's going to be porking out today. So it should be right here. This should be the fatty area. I'm going to bring this over here. I can go through it all later. just want to get this layer off. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It is quite warm. I want to see if I can get the bone out. I don't know if it'll come out all by itself. Probably not. Oh, maybe it will. Once again, everything's so hot. Let's see if I can get that going. Wow. Look, the bone's almost clean. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. Look at that. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, here it is. I got a big, huge, giant pickle. I have no idea why, I just love pickles. And look at that gushing hot barbecue. I just put a little drop of my best hot barbecue sauce you'll ever taste on there. It's delicious, you can do regular barbecue. You don't have to use mine. You can use somebody else's, use your favorite. But make sure it glops on like that. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect. So I have a friend. Can you believe I have a friend? I'm in Tennessee. And you know how I lived in California for 14 years? Never knew my neighbors, never knew anybody. Well, in a couple of weeks, I met my friend Patrick. He's my neighbor. I'm going to bring you on. Come on over here. And he's going to try this because he's got to go back to his house. His kids are waiting for him. Uh, he's going to try this bad boy, okay, and let me know what you think. So go ahead and top that off. All right. And I will just kind of dance a little jig here <laughs> while he's doing that. Uh, he's a meat and potatoes guy, so he's doing really good. And we'll see how he likes it. Cooking all day. Nine hours long. Oh, man. I took some sneak tastes already, but I like to take... I mean, he just walked in the house. He wasn't around, and he's trying it out. How, how's it going? Oh, man. A little messy? Oh. I love good. messy. I got a top for yeah. you. Don't even worry about that. No, you're good. Here we go. That's all <laughs> yours. How is it? It's delicious, man. Look, he's got it on his face. Is that cool? All right. <laughs> all right. I'm going to leave Patrick alone. He's going to finish this off camera. I'll see you on the next episode. You guys take care. Bye-bye.